Hey guys, you got the car, man, and uh, we're working on a 99 Saturn high idle, but anyway, we've, uh, we've already diagnosed that. What the problem was, was the intake gasket, guys, and this is the brand new one that's going on it. And um, can you see that camera, girl? Can you see it pretty good? Let me focus in on it a little better. There we go. All right. Well, let's see. On this end right here, the old one, there's it's already disintegrated at such a point I can't even really show it to you because it's only in pieces. But um, right here, there's a little wrinkle in it from the factory. Over time, it disintegrates, and the thing is just... Uh, hang on, put it on pause. I'll show them a piece of it. Okay, so this is the old one, or should I say what's left of it. Pieces of it are on the ground. But first off... I just you see how brittle that is. I don't can you tell that camera? Let me see. As soon as I just I mean it's just, just literally oh, yeah. just falling apart. Like it's just going in a million pieces. And this is what happens to them. So, you didn't do anything wrong to the car by making it mad or upset or cheating on it with another car. What's going on is your car is just getting old. Anyway, um so here that's that one and this is what the new one looks like. It's got that nice man multiply. It's got the steel interface in it. This is a nice. This is a nice one. This is a Fell Pro. Picked it up at O'Reilly's, twenty three bucks. But you'll probably save that in gas in the first month just because the idle will be down. All right, so let me show you what it took to take this thing off. Okay, guys, if you pay real close attention here, you'll see all the studs sitting out on the side. And if you're wondering what the location of the stud is, just look at the. Uh, Look at the exhaust manifold on the other side, and you got the exact same thing on the intake manifold side. Um, all right, and the reason I've got this is, as you notice, uh, I didn't really take much anything out. I didn't take out the uh, injector system, anything like that. Basically, the only thing I did take out was the uh, throttle cable. I just went ahead and dropped that because it was just easier to get to. And the other thing is, um, make sure this surface that you're dealing with See if I can even get remotely close to that okay the surf okay your lights right in my way camera or light girl there we go all right make sure that surface is nice and clean on that when we're getting ready to hit it with carb cleaner I've already scraped all the old gasket off make sure there isn't any especially around these studs because like I said it's super brittle and it's gonna break into a million pieces now as far as how I took the bolts I mean all the nuts off it really is easier to access it from the bottom, on the bottom ones. And of course, uh, the one on the driver's side bottom, I just accessed it from up here. Um, the rest of them, pretty easy stuff. You know, as far as the power steering, I just leave it alone. I took mine off, but it hasn't been a factor. Really nothing's been a factor other than the bolts, the said bolts, the eight number, uh, the number eights, and then the, um, the eight studs all right so that's what it looks like and once you get it loose you're just gonna pop it loose all right guys so look that's all there really is to it just go ahead and jack the car up access those bottom bolts on the bottom it'll be a lot easier um just take your time a little bit of patience this looks like a good hour hour and a half job what do you think Jen probably yeah probably a good hour hour and a half job and that was with ours completely being broken and getting all of that off of there, too. Yeah, yeah. We had to get all the crap off of it and stuff. But anyway, do me a favor, guys. Subscribe. Support your troops. Home front hugs. Jen's the Virginia representative. Adopt one of these soldiers, man. Make their life nice for a change. Give them three or four months of time. All right, guys. Peace out. See you on the next flip.